Hi there, viewers. Welcome back. The idea for this intro came from Voyager UK 2002. You can see his video up top there. What you can see on the screen here is me making a raise of triangles. And then the most important thing is going to be to UV unwrap them, project from view, and then separate them, and then make them into a group. I'm not really covering any new ground with animation nodes uh, in terms of the technical aspects of it, but I think that it's a pretty cool example because you could do this basically with any picture. Now, I also should point out that I had set my camera to orthographic view because when my triangles are sideways, I don't want to see them. Okay, based on the other videos that I have, ha I've made, I've set up this setup several times now. The main nuts and bolts of this are these three nodes. This one assigns a value of when the triangle is going to be rotated in place in terms of the frame. Then I subtract from that value the frame, and that gives me basically a distance to that point, that frame that it wants to be rotated into place. And then the map range maps the range of rotation to within 12 frames, changes that to half of pi, which is one quarter of a rotation. So you can see all it's doing is rotating it one quarter of a turn, every single one of them, with a targeted completion frame. And obviously, all of them have to be rotated by. 100, and that's why the last one possible would be at 99. Now, I can do this a couple of different ways in terms of what I make it do. Here, all I've done is convert my rotating triangles into falling triangles by only ticking the Z location and mapping the range so that it'll be outside of the camera's view but falling into place. So just one quick adjustment made it into a totally different effect. Hey, if you come up with any ideas for me to do, or if you use one of my ideas, let me know in the comments section of any of my videos. Have a great day.